Mississippi Fred McDowell's version of You Got to Move. We're going to begin by trying to find the melody line. The words go, You got to move. So that's open four, five, seven. You got to move. So what I'm doing there is a double strike at the 7th fret, open, and then the 3rd fret. You can see how that has a nice bluesy sound to it. You got to move, child. So that's 4 strikes at the 7th fret, and then the 5th fret. You got to move. This is Kenny Lee Burgess and welcome to How Do You Play Walking Blues by Robert Johnson, part one. In this section we're going to work on the main lick. <laughs> okay, to play this, first you have to learn how to pop the strings. Take your thumb with the pick and go underneath the sixth string and pull up. Okay, so the string pops back. Be careful, make sure you pop straight up. If you pop to the side, it's going to pull the string right out of the bridge. So get underneath there and pop it up. Then play the third fret with your finger. And then play the fifth string open. Okay? Now that's the first part of the lick. Then you're going to go to your third string and you're going to slide uh, across the third fret and then play the fourth string open. So, so far it'll sound like this. Then to finish the lick, slide on the first string to the fifth fret with the bottleneck. With nice vibrato. So the whole thing. Okay, let's see if we could learn that fill-in lick. It sounds like this. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm starting on the uh, first two strings. I'm actually barring across at the third fret. And then I'm playing a little lick that's going to start on the second string. So string-wise it's going to go two, one, two, one. So you play that once. Then you go to the first string at the fifth fret. Uh, first string, third fret. Then, on your second string, slide at the third fret and play the third string open. So, so far you get... Then I go to the fifth fret, the first string. Then, 
third string, third fret. You, you, you slide and then hit the fourth string open and then fifth string, first fret. Okay, in this lesson we're going to work on the classic Delta Blues standard rolling and tumbling, which is a 12 bar blues. So the first two bars are going to establish the rhythm. The first bar is going to sound like this. Again. Bar two is very similar except for a little variation. It's going to sound like this. Again. So if you put bars one and two together, you get the full rhythm, it would sound like this. Again. Hello, this is Kenny Lee Burgess and welcome to lesson two, how do you play four string cigar box guitar. In this lesson, we're going to work on Little Red Rooster. Now the chord progression of this song is very similar to many other songs. For instance, Rolling and Tumbling, or Robert Johnson's If I Had Possession Over Judgment Day. Or also there's another song uh, by Fury Lewis called Brownsville Blues. Now all these songs kind of contain a signature lick. Uh, for instance, in Little Red Rooster, the signature lick sounds something like this. In rolling and tumbling. Or in Brownsville Blues. Here's that walking bass. And one of the really cool things about a fretless instrument, like a fretless upright bass, is you're able to get this kind of slidey sound that uh, is very unique that you can't get with frets because you'd be jumping over those frets, it would be making a noise where here it doesn't. Uh, of course, the only other problem, which we'll talk about later, is really trying to get the intonation right and hit the right notes because you could be a little off. So it could, it could seem a little pitchy, but maybe that's part of the uh, attraction of this. Thank you. 